Scott Midre basking in the sun, and he doesn't have to stay there very long. This one is gone. Matt Lawton's fifth home run of the year, 2 0 twin. Still top one. It's Jim Brower to David Ortiz. The left field. Slicing Ricky Lede, his first chance as an Indian, comes up with it. He went one for three in the game with a walk, says he feels comfortable being in Cleveland, is ready to contribute. Moeller to right. Alex Ramirez. Uh -oh. Jack. Alomar coming home. Mm, short hopped his brother. Errors on Ramirez and Robbie. 3 1 twins. Same score in the fifth. Brower. Cummings don't go there. Second level. Cummings, third of the year. 4 1 twins. Brian Williams facing Matt Lawton. Swinging a drive. Kenny Lofton staring. 7 to 1 twins. Lawton goes three for four with a double, two home runs. He's got six home runs for the year. The Twins win this thing by a final score of seven to two. And they're closing in on a four-year, $36 million deal for Brad Rackey. That could happen in the next few days. Uh, the way the Indians are playing. Other surprises, uh, clearly the best surprise in baseball as far as teams winning, the White Sox. Jim Parquet has been very good, going for a six-straight win, Mike. Good cut fastball from Jim Parquet. Knows how to pitch inside. Had a real good breaking ball, as you can see. Elevates in the strike zone only when he wants to. Good looking young left hander. One earned, four Ks, five and two thirds. No score, second and third. One out. Alexander comes out to talk to Hippolito Pichardo. Some people like to call him Hippolito. Right. <laughs> Some people like to walk Frank Thomas intentionally, which is actually a good move here to load him up. But Matt Ordonez is a dangerous guy. Not here. It's a slow roller, but it shows you. He's a big, strong guy, and he runs a little bit better than people think. Fordyce comes around to score. White Sox up one zip, and then they get the bats going. Singleton down the line. Fair. Valentin, Ordonez both score. Ordonez had it left the game with a strain in his uh, right leg. He's sort of day to day. White Sox up three zip. Bryce Flore in, don't go there. The Big Hurt Smoke Show, number 21. White Sox up 5-3. 7-3, Ray Alcormier on the mound. Don't go there. That's why you're walking. Right. And these guys with that open stance are getting to that outside pitch these days and just crushing it straight away in the right center. Frank Thomas has got 22 home runs, about 68 RBIs this year. Went three for four in the game. He's hit by his theme. And Justice wearing Yankee uniform. Who would have thunk that? No one. No, no one. Randy Wynn facing Grimsey with two on to first. Tino Fields. No. Wynn beats it. Wynn's going to beat just about everything down the line. Right, because Tino hesitates here. Randy Wynn can fly. And Tino Martinez knows that. But he looks to second thinking, well, I'll get the lead runner here. By the time he turns around, he says, well, uh, Randy Wynn's going to beat that ball. He who hesitates loses, especially when you're dealing with Wynn. Bottom three, 2-2, two, two, loaded. Russ Johnson, you want to be a hero. Two-run score. Devil Rays lead it by two. Now in the six, one on, one down. DJ. And from one form of Brave to another. Prime Dog turns three, six, one. Dave Justice, 0 for three. Bernie with a man on. Deep to center field and, you know, MVP numbers. Bernie Williams is having an unbelievable season. Very lost in their problems is Bernie Williams. 18th of the season, pop up the shallow left, goes McGriff, Brocious, under. Lights. I can't hear you, somebody turn the lights on. McGriff ends up at second, the roof of culprit. Later in the inning, they're loaded. 3-0, Russ Johnson, Jeff Nelson. Oh, yeah. McGriff's in to score. Devil Rays up 5-4. They go on to win 6-4. Nelson, two-thirds of an inning and four walks. Well, it's become a problem for the Yankees. Lack of offense. It was acquired for this very reason. Beat the Braves. But no one, no one could have foreseen what happened at Chase Stadium Friday night. Roll. Fireworks. Yeah, we had him before the game and plenty after. Rick Reed, he broke his wrist in last night's game. He's going to be out two to three weeks. Hampton's on the hill. He's in trouble early. And the time he gets in trouble, Ravi, is when he loses the control. He had six walks tonight. Here he hits the, the big cat. And Javi Lopez, who just wears Hampton out, he walks him here and walks in a run. Big problems. All right, third inning. Galarraga. Mike, you can't go here. Ah, well, ball four. <laughs> Low to bases. Here we go, Javi Lopez. Base hit in the hole. Again, Tim just said it. He rakes him. Rather go after the guy that you have a little better average against. Mess. Piazza, his first error in 51 games. They cleared the bases with a little single to left. Galarraga comes in. And Millwood's on the hill, unlike Hampton. 
He got out of trouble that he was in early. He was working the count early and often with strike one, getting ahead of the hitters. Here you see him getting Mike Piazza on a fastball up out over the plate, pops him up to kill the Overis. Robin Ventura expanding the zone, up in his eyes, swinging through it. Robin not having any fun in this series yet. Piazza two for 19, lifetime against Millwood. Lockhart, big spot in the seventh. It should be two. Melvin Morris throw, air mailed. Brian Jordan comes in. Braves got a 5 nothing lead. So they leave this series two games love, right? Hold on, folks. Two outs, men on the corners. Millwood gets more to end the inning. Braves still up 5-1 to the eighth. Same score, two down. Brian Jordan smackdown here. There's a well Jay Payton goes back. Appears as if he's got a chance to reel it in. No. 8-1, number 13 for Jordan. Nails are in the coffin. And now with a packed house, says, I don't even care about the fireworks. I've seen enough. Leitenberg, Benny Agbayani, they're loaded now in the eighth. Two outs, folks. Leitenberg. Zeal comes in to score as he walks Johnson. It's 8-4. Two outs, everybody. Next batter, Leitenberg, Melvin Mora. Ball four. Peyton's in. Mets down 8-5. Mulholland, who threw over 100 pitches two nights ago. Ooh. Walks Derek Bell. Agbayani scores. Mets down 8-6. Alfonso is not walking anywhere. He's swinging. Through. No Chipper Jones, who is home because his wife is set to give birth to their first child. McEwing and Morin come in to score, tied at eight. Rocker threw one warm up pitch, busted open a callus on his hand. He was unavailable. Mike Piazza. Wow. Exit stage left, three run home run. It is 11 8. Piazza with an RBI in 13 straight games. Piazza knew it right away. Cheering section, Pratt leading 52,000 Mets fans. Benitez to Wally Joyner to center field. And are you kidding? 11-8, the New York Mets over the Atlanta Braves. The seven-run comeback, the second biggest in franchise history. Loaded, Braden Looper on the hill. Chris Widger, bats broken. Over the head of Looper. Fox charges, fields fires, Widger in. So Derek Lee's coming home. Guerrero say. From second, it's 4-4. Widgers infield single, which plates two. Here's Vladimir Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero moving on anything swung at with two strikes. Notice how he's already in position. He rounds third base, doesn't stop. Tough play for the first baseman. Comes up looking for their Guerrero, doesn't stop. I tell you, that guy hustles, hustles, hustles. The one knock on Guerrero has been his fielding, and it would cost him in the ninth. Tied it four with a man on. Kotze into right. Vladimir over. Ooh, that can't happen. Not in that spot. Luis Castillo would score from first, and the Marlins on that error, his six players everywhere. I drool. love Chris Benson. Drool. Watch this breaking ball. I mean, Doug Lamble tries to hold up on this thing, and he can't because he thinks it's a fastball and a slider just too good. Oh, careful. Careful with Roland at the plate. That's dangerous. Roland takes an 0-2 pitch. That's strong like bull. Abreu comes all the way around from first to score. Roland with an RBI double. 2-0 Phillies. In the eighth, 3-1 fills. Aramis Ramirez pinch hitting with two men on, Mike. Yeah, Randy Wolf had been pitching extremely well up to this point. You see Ramirez behind the fastball here. Again, another fastball. Now he's trying to spike a change up in the dirt, but elevates Ramirez. Great job of hitting with two strikes. High game as that one goes all the way to the wall. Two runs score. Same inning, Wilfredo Cordero, professional hitter. Randy Wolf, Glanville, no. Two more runs are in, a triple for Cordero. The Pirates get five in the eighth. And they go on to win 8-3. Cordero goes three for five, four ribeye stakes. 13 hits for the Pittsburgh Pirates. For Philadelphia, their second consecutive loss. First turners in the Rangers. And it looks like these two teams, Seattle and Oakland, may keep switching back and forth. Jay Buhner, exit, stage, center. Left center. 14th home run. It is 3-3. That came off the gambler. Bottom four, Texas up a run. Two on Clayton. Hit hard. An RBI single for Royce. Rangers got a two-run cushion at 5-3. Loaded now in the fifth. Same score. Mr. RBI, Edgar Martinez in a big spot with the bases loaded. Oh, no. Ricky Henderson was in foul ground. He was okay. Edgar. He does have a tendency to hit into double plays. Yeah, give Kenny Rogers some credit on this pitch. Trying to get inside. Kai drives in an awful lot of run. Get him to roll over. The old 5-3 double play. 
All right, so a big spot blown for Seattle as Martinez couldn't deliver. Palmero then does. His 21st of the year, Texas up 6-3. Bottom seven, 13-3. Did he again? That is high. Where's Buner at the wall? Oh. He brings it in, Palmero. Having a hard time believing it. Denied a second home run. Still Texas rolls in a big spot. 13 to 3. 28th birthday. Top of four. Brian Cooper facing Randy Velarde. And Garrett. Oh, the groovy kind of glove right in front of the fake rocks. And Rod Carew's giant head. There it is again. That's good. Bottom six, Garrett Anderson leading off. Home run. Angels lead 3 0, 22nd of the year, hitting just 241 on Garrett Blake. Bottom nine, Brian Cooper. 124 pitches, 80 strikes, and Troy Gloss is a man. Baby. Terrence Long, 17 game hit streak is over. The Angels win 7 0. Eight of nine batters had at least one hit. Four Angels with multi hit games. The A's, they've lost four of six suddenly since. Fire. What's up with that? <laughs> Top three, two, one Dodgers. Russell Ortiz to Gary Sheffield, and that one ain't coming back. Solo shot, 26 of the year. 3 1 Dodgers lead. Kevin Brown on the mound. Marvin Bernard out of the baseline. So when he gets hit by the ball, you're out. But as long as he's got a little momentum, he figured he might as well go to second and try heading for third. Problem is, he gets thrown out there as well. <laughs> you're having a bad day. Let me just tell you that when you're out twice on one play. Top four. Two on for Sheffield again off Russ Ortiz. He whistles it again. That's a three run shot, 27th of the year, and the Dodgers win by a count of nine to two. Give it to LA. Their mamas didn't raise no dummies. They walked Barry Bonds three times, and then he was one for one on his other trip. Sheffield, fourth multi homer game of the year. Kevin Brown improves to eight and one versus the Giants all time, and the Dodgers are 12 and four in his starts in 2000. Cardinals, 70s night, bottom one, no score. Jay Bell facing Pete Harnish. His only hit is that home run, ninth of the year. 2-0 D-backs, top of four, tied at two. Harnish, bases loaded against Mike Morgan. Base hit to left will score two. Reds lead, four to two. Bottom six will try to hold. Harnish facing good-looking rookie Alex Cabrera. Hitting well over 400, but Pistol Pete gets the job done since he's 16 and 9 in one run games. Junior 0 for 4. Missed a chance to become the fifth red to hit 13 homers in one calendar month. Rocks in San Diego, Darren Bragg. Singles of Carlos Almanzar. Tom Goodwin scores. 5 4 Rocks. Bragg's only hit. Next batter, Terry Sh Umpert. To left, Al Martin. Oh, lays out. What a great play. Saves two runs. He ends the seventh. Top of nine Padres. Tie and run on second. This, of course, would be the bottom of the ninth. The home team always bats last, no matter what I might say. Buddy Bell and the Rockies win five to four. Larry Walker, two for five. 23 for his last 58. Ryan Klesko, two for three. He's in the O's. Mike Hargrove sitting in. Albert retreats. One out, Alberto Castillo on third. What do I do? Well, your third base coach is telling you to tag and go. Run directly to the bag, tag up, and score on a fly ball with less than two outs. Albert crushed ice. No one has had a better June than Albert. 37 RBIs this month. Bordick and DeShield score. The O's go up four zip. Albert ends up on second. Later in the third, Ryan Miner, Lance Painter. Uh-oh. Major wild pitch. They're loaded. Next batter, Brady Anderson, Painter. Okay, we're officially wild now. Johnson scores easily. The Orioles comfortably up seven zip. Brad Fulmer, Rapp, Bordick, sweet. Rip to the right of Bordick. O's win 8-3. They had a 13-game losing streak to the Toronto Blue Jays. Bordick has no shot of being the all-star in the American League of Shortstop, but he's had a great season. The Blue Jays are looking for a pitcher, too. They're one of about 15 teams that are looking for a pitcher, and there are about six or seven of them out there. Game, <laughs> never hurt. Robert Top third, Dan Reichert, uh -oh. Robert, Vic, runners on first and second. They pretty much walk home if they want to. Vic as well only has to trot. Second homer of the season, three zip Detroit from there. How about we let Jeff Weaver take care? Jeff Rebele. Oh, my, Rebele. That curveball's evil. Bottom nine, Todd Jones, Carlos Beltran. There is no Mets drama here. 
grounds out. Tigers win at 3-1. Fick was the offense. Weaver does the rest. Six hits in eight innings. He walked zip. Cade four. Todd Jones, 21st save and 22 opportunities. The Royal shortstop, Ray Sanchez, played his 53rd straight airless game. Break the season. All that said, Houston deals with St. Louis. Good to see Fernando Tatis back. Two months on the DL, standing O. He went one for three with the run scored. Biggio to third. Tatis coming home, and we got a rundown. This is not actually executed perfectly because Rick Ankeel dropped the ball. We want to run him back to the other base, of course. You got to got to get him. Got to get him going as hard as you can. Mike Matheny comes up with the ball, gets the ball in a proper position so the fielder can see it, but he doesn't get him going full speed. And Rick Ankeel decides to get involved, gets screened by standing right on the line, drops the ball. Uh oh, Mark McGuire, we go. Six on the all-time list, 12th away from Reggie Jackson for six on the list. 29 homers lead the majors. We continue with the offense, Renteria. Matheny would score. It's 4-4. Cardinals later take a lead in the sack fly. Dave Veers tying run and Jeff Bagpipes. It's 2-2. 5-4. Cardinals got a lead. Bagwell under it. He's been up in a lot of late inning situations and uh, has been unable to deliver and he has clearly been frustrated not only by his performance but the team's performance. Two outs, bases loaded. Ricky Gutierrez grounds to second. Ron Belliard. Air tag. Jeff Houston scores 4-4. Bottom 13. Henry Blanco sends one to left. Henry Rodriguez makes the diving catch. A little grass stain, a little bleach that'll come right out and they double off the runner at second base. It's the top of the 15th now. Oh boy. Everybody's getting a little tired. They'd like to go home. Eric Young walks. Damon Buford crosses the plate. 5 4 Cubs. Oh, get the clubhouse spread ready. We're ready for the buffet. Same inning, two outs, same score. Sammy Sosa. He delivers with the double to right. Two runs score, and the beer makers, they go down and go down hard. They led 4-1 after six innings, and then were shut out for the next nine. Eric Young, five walks. That's the most by a Cubs, and Andre Dawson in 90. Ricky Gutierrez, he was 0 for 7 and stranded 11 guys, but it all ends well. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. Minor leagues, major fight. Norfolk, Charlotte, Triple-A effort. It all pretty much start after the Tides hit their fourth homer of the game, and the two teams exchanged bean balls, and then the dance started. Plus, there was punching and kicking. Luis Rodri Rodriguez there with the Rockettes act. Vance <laughs> Wilson, his chili's also running kind of hot. He goes over there and wants to talk with the ump. Go over there and talk with the ump. Trust me, there he is. Well, he's not really so much talking as he, oops, yeah, oops. get him out of the way. That's a fan right there. And then he's going to go back after the other team. It was, as they say, a Donnie Brook. Six players, five nights, one member of the Tide ejected.